Lord Karen. Ah, deputies. I see you found some nice, shiny loot. So, have you brought us the head of a Sorak? One head, slightly damaged. Marike, preserve us. I'm sorry I asked. You should have seen it alive. I can only imagine. When's the next council meeting? When? But now, of course. The rumor of your return has already reached the palace. They're waiting for you. They are? Well, more for this. But come on. Now there's a trophy. And by the way, who's crazy now? All right. You were right, we were wrong. They do exist. Happy now? Kid, I've seen more than anyone in this town, yet nobody seems to believe me. Maybe it's a curse. The curse of being surrounded by idiots. If you don't mind, Merton, we have business to attend to. Right. Say hello to the old lady for me, Karen. Who is this guy again? Arwin Merton. He used to be a legend. The first scavenger, they say. But now, well, you can see for yourself. Who's this old lady? Just ignore him. Let's go. Your thoughts, Dean Facek? I, uh, well, it looks very much as the scriptures describe. Well then, it seems we have a problem. It's a disaster. We all know what the Sor Akat did on Tirmar. There's something else. What? A crown? Hmm, interesting. A very nice find. We don't want to sell it. Why not? You know we pay well. We want to keep it. I'd like to take a look at it, though. Come on. Let them take a look. Thank you. Any ideas? It's quite massive. Clearly Imperial in style. These ruins remind me of the Imperial Schools of Magic. I have a spell I'd like to cast on this. My lords, this deputy is clearly unwell. What? What happened? You passed out. Where are we? The Temple of Einar. Marshal Beric Sunblaze himself invited us to stay here. We certainly made an impression on the Council. They believe you're attuned to the Crown, that you can't be separated from it. What? So it is cursed. They're not sure. All these big brains. And they're stumped. They cast spells on the Crown, on you. Between that and the Sorax, we caused quite a fuss out there. They'll reconvene the Council when you're ready. But trust me, there's a lot of people who want to talk to you first. Lord Sunblaze, thank you for your hospitality. It's the least we can do for the deputies who proved that there are still Sorax on Celasta. You've proved we cannot relax our vigilance. Did you find anything else that could help us track them? There was a parchment. If you find it, 
send for the char. You can read that. That last word, it's not Tamarian. It's in the Sorakath tongue. I knew it. It means general. You were wise to run. Also, the fanatics we fought near that old tower, they all had this tattoo on their arm. It seems to support the idea that they were working for the Sorax under duress. It is indeed one of their ways. Now this is the A of Erevad. Can you enlighten us? Between the myth and what we've seen, it's confusing. Of course. We paladins and clerics of Einar are the guardians of these memories. Our ancestors fought the war against the Sorakath. Their god, Sortar, gave them dark powers of treachery, mind reading, and shape changing. They infiltrated the human society, corrupted the hearts of men. At some point, everyone was suspected to be a Sorak in disguise. Distrust broke humanity. Sortar had won. He corrupted even Erevad, god of the Inquisitors. The gods themselves decided to run away from Tirmar. They opened the rift for the humans to escape to Selasta. Many of them didn't make it. It was a tragedy. At the sight of the rift, thousands of Sorak tried to cross. Sortar himself tried. The rift was closed in a gigantic blast. Our kings and heroes, Manakalan's masters of magic, were all wiped out. So, how could Sorax have survived, escaped, and then thrived on Celasta? I suppose that's another one of their tricks. But for those who had survived the war, the Exodus, it was paramount to stay vigilant, to keep the memory alive. The memory of what Sorax were, what they could do, so that if one day they were to return, we'd be ready. I'm sorry to say, after a thousand years, only a few of us remain. Now, most people believe Sorax are a mere legend, but you brought us proof the Sorax are not extinct. Can they really impersonate people? It's been proven, though it's a long process. They used to kidnap a target, study it for weeks, sometimes months. One of their chosen ones would transform into a perfect duplicate. Upon death, they would return to their original form. We fought different ones. Do you know more? The bulk of their army are foot soldiers with poisoned spines. They breed a caste of albino priests able to cast spells. Some of them are deadly assassins, invisible, venomous. Others are giant brutes. The scriptures talk of elite warriors, anti-paladins, the Shikath. How do they get people to worship them? They get into people's minds, learn their darkest secrets, their fears, their shameful desires. With that, they can blackmail, corrupt, and finally, recruit. It's much easier for them than to duplicate, and very efficient. Well, that's all very scary, but thanks, it's going to help us. You're welcome, deputies. If you find anything else connected to the Sor Akath, or their allies, bring it to the temple. Talk to Chaplain Delan Lark. You will be well rewarded. Whenever you're ready, the council will meet again. It's an honor, deputies. Who are you? My name is Maddie Green Isle. I work for the Tower of Knowledge. I'm just a junior aide in the council, but if you ever need to contact my superiors without going through official channels, just see me at the Tower, downtown. Why the sudden interest in us? You proved yourselves in the Badlands. Now, we in the Tower of Knowledge 
value-skilled adventurers. If you find anything of historical value, we'll pay well. And, you know, if things go well, we might share some of our own secrets. All right. We'll think about it. Can I ask for a minute of your time, deputies? We're in kind of a hurry. I know. I won't delay you long. My name is Hedlund Shorspell. I represent the Arcanium. And the Arcanium belongs to the new empire. Do you really want to be seen talking to us? My business is magic, not politics. And no, I have no quarrel with you. You may not see us Imperials as friends, but we take the Council very seriously. We are particularly interested in anything from the Old Empire that you might find in the Badlands. Anything from the Manichel and Era Arcanium. Even more so. Oh, of course, we'd pay you handsomely for this crown. Although, I know that's not possible. You're smarter than you look. Also quite indifferent to mockery. Anyway. We have an unrivaled trove of magical and other knowledge. Think it's over. You can find me at the Gravekeep's cask. Really? Not at the embassy? What can I say? I love Martel's beer, even though it tastes like donkey piss. What? How did he... That was our joke on the first day we met. Was he spying on us? Maybe he just agrees about the taste. Would you have a moment, deputies? All right, but make it quick. I'll do my best. I am Joyel Foxai, from the Circle of Denantar. The same magic school where the princess studies? Exactly. Is she a good student? A powerful wizard? That's not for me to say. And you seemed to be in a rush? Fine. I just want you to know that our Grand Master Edvin Denantar has noticed you. He talked a lot. For sure. He's a man of great authority. He'd like you to know that our doors are open to you if you'd care to visit us. You can find me at Sunblaze Court. Interested in Badlands treasures, I suppose? Like everyone else? Well, if you ever come across old spell books or spell scrolls, we'd love to see them. In return, we have the largest collection of spells and potion recipes you could ever hope to see. More than the Arcanium? They would disagree, but yes. Now, if you were to prefer feeding the new Empire's wizards with more magical knowledge than the Principality, that would be a troubling choice to many on the Council. Neutrality means we don't treat you any differently than we treat them. Of course. Neutrality is the rule. Good day to you, deputies.
Clear skies, adventurers. Thank you. We need to go. Stay in the light. Greetings, Sorak Slayers. Hello. I am Halman Summer of the Guild of Antiquarians. I'm instructed to invite you to visit us at the Embassy of the Snow Alliance. You're based at an embassy? I thought the council was neutral. We don't have a house of our own in Kaya Kiflin, unlike the Tower of Knowledge. How about that for neutrality? Anyway, we'd be interested in any antiquities you might bring back. We pay very well, even for things you might think are worthless. Like the scavengers? The scavengers? Well, they'd sell an antique emperor's sword for its metal value. But we can offer more than gold. Antique magical items, for instance. You'll never find their like elsewhere. Good to know. Thanks for the invitation. Honorable council members, please take your seats. Ah, our crown bearer is up again. Lord Danantar has the floor. Thank you. I have confirmed that our deputy is indeed magically attuned to the crown. It is uh, an uncommonly powerful attunement, unlike anything I've seen. I strongly recommend against forcing separation. Chancellor Gorm's daughter? With the Council's permission, I'd like to try a little experiment. I have here the gem that Captain Merrin recovered recently. I have reason to believe that it might be... <gasps> As I suspected, it belongs to the Crown. What have you done? Commander, take Her Royal Highness to safety. No, wait.
Are you going to faint again? I just had a vision. What? A vision? In an instant? I was fighting Sorax, but I wasn't myself. Then, who were you? A paladin. Powerful. From Tiamar. Hmm, that is... unsettling. Let the Crown Bearer and the other deputies follow that quest. Find the other gems if you can, but keep us informed. In the meantime, we will formulate a response to the Sorax. Let's vote. Delegates, do you agree? Aye! Aye. Your Royal Highness? Oh, pardon me. Yes, I concur. To which proposition, Your Highness? I mean, I. They should go and find the diamonds, the gems. So, resolved. Let it be recorded. Thank you, honored delegates. The Council is now in recess. What was that? You had a vision? I can't explain. I, I just feel it. Anyway, we have a new mission. All right then. So where are we going, Crown Bearer? I think... the Crown knows. There's life yet, adventurers. A Reiki smile on you. Lady of Life, a follower of the Goddess. We do require your services.